hi everyone welcome back to my channel once again i am not adorable and today i'll be talking about how to give a first aid care to a child that is running temperature a child with fever how to give a first aid care to such child so that is what we'll be looking into briefly in today's um, video and um, i would like you to kindly stay tuned to the end of this video because you would be learning a lot Am I sure you're going to learn a lot? Yes, I'm very sure you're going to be learning a lot in today's video. I am both to say that. So thank you all my subscribers. Thank you my viewers that are yet to subscribe to my channel. As I will be glad if you can take that decision right now today. By subscribing to my channel, just click on that red icon, the subscribe red icon below. And uh, yes, that is if you've subscribed to my channel. Thank you for helping my channel to grow. Fever, fever can range from the range, range of um, 37.2 degrees Celsius upward. So when you have a child that has that um, value, and after checking the child's temperature, you discover the child is running it is, is having a, a temperature of 37.2 degrees Celsius above. That means the child has a fever. Now, increase in blood temperature can help your body to fight infection. In fact, when you experience fever, when you experience a high body temperature, it means that your immune system is active and is functioning well. That means there is already invasion of a of an infection into your system. Do you understand? And your immune system is trying to fight out such infection. That is when you see a sign of a very high body temperature. So at times when we have a high body temperature, it may indicate that um, it may indicate a serious illness condition and it may also indicate a, 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 a condition that is not so serious. Do you understand? So when a child is running temperature more than a day, the child should be taken to the hospital. And when an adult runs fever for up to two to three days, such person needs to see the health care provider. So let's have that in mind. The part of the brain that sets body temperature is called the hypothalamus. That is a part of our brain that helps to set our body temperature. So when our, when our body has an invasion of an infection, so what this hypothalamus does is that it, it responds by moving the set point of that our body temperature to a higher temperature. And that is when our immune system starts to, you know, fight such infection. And um, that is how it occurs in our body. So how do you know if your baby is having fever? You can detect if your baby is having fever by checking your child's um, temperature with a thermometer. By checking your child's temperature with a thermometer, like a thermometer. I always um I always advise each household to have a thermometer in their house. This is a mercury in glass thermometer. Then we have another type of thermometer that is um that is a digital thermometer. I know we are all familiar with that one. So if you cannot get this, if you can, maybe you do not know how to make use of this mercury in glass thermometer, you can. This is how it looks like. You can see. Um, I am not sure if you can see it clearly, but this is how it looks like, and uh, you use it to check your body temperature. Uh, it is a. Um, it is graduated with uh, from 35 degrees Celsius to 42 degrees Celsius. So the the digital one. The digital one you can also make use of. I think that should be easy for everyone of us to, to to use. So I always advise that we have a thermometer at home, especially people we that we have little children at home that you know it can happen anytime, it can be in the middle of the night, it can be any time that a child just starts running temperature and we might need to do one or two things, you know, before we take a decision of taking such child to the hospital or not so when you check with your thermometer and you find out that your child has a, 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 a body temperature of 37 degrees uh, 37.2 degrees Celsius of what then you should be able to know that okay that child is running fever then um you can get yes just as i said you can get the thermometer i would like to quickly show you how to if you are able to lay your hand on this uh, mercury and glass mm -hmm. thermometer i'm going to show you how to before the end of this video I'm going to show you how to make use of this um, um, mercury in glass thermometer. I'll show you how to make use of it so that if you have it, if you have it at home, you can quickly make use of it to detect your um, your child's or body temperature. Now I'll be showing you how to make use of this mercury in glass thermometer to check your body temperature. If you are using it for yourself, 
you under your armpit like is you are not putting it directly on your dress so you're going to insert it in and um you're going to keep it there for one minute you're going to be keeping it there for one minute so as but before you do that this um graduated line you make sure that the mercury is that you shake it just as i'm doing you shake it and make sure that the mercury is below is at um, 35 degrees celsius or even below 35 degrees celsius before you insert the thermometer into the armpit so this is baby baby what now <laughs> baby love so i'm going to make use of this my dummy in um in part in demonstrating uh what we have to talk about today so i've, I've um, inserted and i'm going to wait for one minute when it's exactly one minute we are going to remove the thermometer and um, we are going to check the temperature of the thermometer though because this um baby love is not a is not a human being so the thermometer is not going to read anything but i'm just using it to show you how to make use of it so let's assume it's our one minute then we're going to remove it and um we raise it up this way we raise it up when we raise it up we're going to see the level so when it is um at 37.2 degrees celsius upward such child is running fever and what are we going to do if you are making use of this make sure make sure that you keep it where the children cannot um assess it because when it falls it breaks immediately it, it breaks is it is very fragile so make sure you keep it in the secured i've been showing you how to make use of the mercury in glass thermometer and even the digital thermometer that is this is the same way you're going to check it you are going to make use of it it's just that the digital thermometer is going to show the value you don't have to start looking at the uh, the grad uh, the graduated um, lines on the mercury and glass that of the digital thermometer just it's, it's going to when it's done checking it gives a sound then you remove it from the armpit and then you check you check the value so that is how to make use of that one so having done that let me quickly show you how to help a child how to help a child and it can even be a, be applicable yeah it is also applicable to an adult but it's just that in today's video I, i'm talking more on child so i'm talking more on child so i'll leave the details in the uh, description box and um, in one of my previous video i talked about how to help a fainting patient or a fainting or a pa uh, or a fainted patient can you use the link above that is displayed on the screen above to check and um, to see this video because you're actually going to learn a lot from that video yes i'm also good to say that so if you have not seen that video kindly kindly use that link above or i do in the description box to view the um to, to view the video so if you are finding this um video helpful kindly give it a thumb up and please subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed to my channel so now let's go into the demonstration of how to help a child with fever how to help a child that is running fever window so you open the nearby window and um 
you give baby love that is running fever. You give him copious water. You give him copious water to take. And you do that repeatedly. You're going to be doing it repeatedly. So that this uh, water will help in bringing down the body temperature. You don't have to give baby love water that is cold. Just give baby love water in the normal room temperature. Do you understand? Give baby love that is running fever a, a water in normal room temperature. Do you understand now? So, if baby love is not taking the water, you can add juice. You can add um, any flavor juice and dilute it with water and keep giving baby love repeatedly. You know, just make sure baby love is taking fluid, enough fluid. At that time, baby love is running temperature. So, after doing that, I'm sorry, I couldn't place my hand on a, a paracetamol. So, I assume this is my paracetamol. So, what we're going to do now is that we are going to be giving baby love paracetamol. So, you give baby love the right dose of paracetamol. So, we are giving baby love. So, I've been able to give baby love the paracetamol. And please, if... If, there, if baby love is putting on any clothing that is, you know, you just remove excess clothing, remove excess clothing and uh, make sure that the clothes you are putting on, the clothes you are putting on for baby love is, um, is a very flexible clothing. It's not a thick uh, wear. It's not a thick wear. It's a very soft and uh, light wear so that enough air will be able to penetrate into baby love's body. So that is how to help a child that is running fever. That is how to help a child that is running fever. And for babies below the um, the age of six months, you know we we advise exclusive breastfeeding. We advise exclusive breastfeeding. And uh, for children below six months, we we, we don't advise you to give um, copious fluid. But you can put that child to breast and observe within your 24 hours. Make sure your bo your baby's body temperature is calming down. Make sure it is calming down. Do you understand? And if such is not happening, you might need to take that child to the hospital. So having done everything that I've said, having done that, after then, another thing you, you're going to do, I know that after opening the window, after opening the nearby window, only your fan, giving paracetamol, then you take the child to, you, to have a shower. You are not using cold water for that shower. You are going to use warm water. You are using warm water for that shower. Because when you use cold water directly on the baby, the baby can convulse and um, it, can lead, it can affect the child. Do you understand now? So, it is advisable that you use warm water. You dilute hot water with normal water in, in, at room temperature. Then you make it warm. Then you use it to shower the baby that is running fever. You can also do all these things I've mentioned in adults that are also running fever. So that because when you use cold water that it can make the child to go to have to experience hypothermia which is a very low temperature level. Do you understand? When the temperature is too high it's hypothermia and when it is too low it is known as hypothermia. So we wouldn't want our child to experience that. We wouldn't want our child to convulse. So it is better that we use a warm water. It's very important. Let's do not forget that use warm water on your child that is warm. No matter how high, no matter how high that, that fever is, please do not be tempted to use cold water directly on your baby that is running fever. So having, having said that, after the shower, after you've given paracetamol and everything, what you're going to do is um, you use your bath towel, you mix water, make the water to be warm, then you're going to be using it. So I've soaked my towel now into inside warm water. So I'm going to squeeze some water out from the, the face towel. I'm using face towel. So you're not going to use it on your baby from head to toe. You can even leave one on the head this way. Do you understand? Leave one on the head that way. And um, you're going to be making use of this other one. You can see that I didn't uh, squeeze all the water out of the towel. So, you're not going to be using the other one all over the body. As you can see the way I'm mopping the body all over, all over the body. 
you will notice that the, the towel will be getting dry in a, in a case of a severe um, temperature, high body temperature fever. So you are going to insert it into your water again. You're going to insert it again and use it all over your baby's body. You can also do this for hard dogs that are running fever. You know, this, these are the, um, the first aid care you can give patients having fever. Then you change this as well. You insert it back into your water. Then you place it again on the head. And, you know, just repeat. Repeat the process. All the processes repeat. And keep giving the child water. Keep giving the child water. Please, when you are giving your child the paracetamol, make sure you are not giving your child more than the required dosage. If you are not sure of the required dosage, read the label. Read the label that comes with the um, paracetamol. Then you can also give ibuprofen in some, in some cases. Then make sure that um, you keep observing, even if the, the child's temperature comes down, it comes down eventually, Keep observing that child for any other symptoms. Do you understand? Keep observing that child for any other symptoms that might require you to take that child to the hospital as soon as possible. Please do not give aspirin. Do not give aspirin. All these things that I've said does not mean you shouldn't take your child to the hospital. It's just the first aid care you can give to your child that is running fever to prevent that child running into convulsion because one of the complication of high body fever mm, sorry high body temperature is a um, convulsion and it can also make your child to have a a, a low um, red blood cell like it can lead to anemia so it is important that once you notice your child is um, having such um, fever do all these things that i've said while you are planning to take the child to the hospital and the child will be fine this is also applicable to the adults. So having said that, I believe you've been able to learn one or two things in today's video. And I'm glad that you are here with me up to this time. So thank you. If, you are, if you've stayed tuned till this time, I'm giving you a thumb up. So in my next video, I'll be talking about conversion. What do you do if your child is conversing or any child around you is conversing? That is what we'll be talking about in my next video. So I hope you will be around by that time to watch and to learn. Thank you for staying tuned till this time. And um, I would like you to drop your questions, your, um, your observation, you know everything. Just even if it is a nice video, whatever, whatever, hello, anything you want to say about this video, drop it at the comment section. And um, don't forget to give this video a thumb up if you've really enjoyed and you've learned one or two things from this video. Thank you for watching, and um, I'll see you in my next video. Before then, leave LD and stay safe. Bye.